WGN Community Affairs is happy to present the Chicagoland Church Services. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done gloriously. Let it be known in all the world. The Chicagoland Church Services guest church is the Wooddale Community United Methodist Church, located at 206 West Wooddale Road in Wooddale, Illinois. The pastor is Reverend Richard Oliver. Organist for all services is Mr. Foster Deal. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations.
Almighty and eternal Father, you know our problems and you know our weaknesses better than we know them. In your love and by your power, help us. Make us firm in faith in spite of all our weakness. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. This service is brought to you by the Wooddale Community Church in Wooddale. The Reverend Richard Oliver is the pastor of Community Church. Pat Ferguson is the director of the adult choir. Greg Fers Ferguson is the director of the youth choir. Accompanists are Mary Jane Robertson, Corey Karpakiak, Edith Yule, Al Pyak Jr., Jeffrey Finn, and Jeannie Ferguson. The lay reader is Al Pyak Sr. Wooddale is a northwestern suburb bordered by Bensonville, Elk Grove Village, Itasca, and Addison. Community Church is a congregation of the United Methodist Church. Since 1929, Community Church has carried out an active program of Christian education, evangelism, and social concern. We hope that this service will be a blessing to you and a help for the coming week. Our Old Testament lesson this morning is from 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 17 through 24. After this, the son of the woman the mistress of the house, became ill, and his illness was so severe that there was no breath left in him. And he said to Elijah, What have you against me, O man of God? You have come to me to bring my sin to remembrance and to cause the death of my son. And he said to her, Give me your son. And he took him from her bosom and carried him up into the upper chamber where he lodged and laid him upon his own bed. And he cried to the Lord, O Lord my God, hast thou brought calamity even upon the woman with whom I sojourned by slaying her son? Then he stretched himself upon the child three times and cried to the Lord, O Lord my God, let this child's soul come into him again. And the Lord hearkened to the voice of Elijah. And the soul of the child came into him again, and he revived. And Elijah took the child and brought him down from the upper chamber into the house and delivered him to his mother. And Elijah said, See, your son lives. And the woman said to Elijah, Now I know that you are a man of God, and that the word of the Lord in your mouth is truth.
reading of the gospel is taken from the gospel according to St. Luke, reading from chapter 7, verses 11 through 17. Soon afterward, Jesus went to a city called Nain, and his disciples and a great crowd went with him. As he drew near to the gate of the city, behold, a man who had died was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a great crowd from the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. And he came and touched the bier, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak. And he gave him to his mother. Fear seized all of the crowd, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has arisen amongst us, and... God has visited his people. <clears throat> and this report concerning Jesus spread through the whole of Judea and all the surrounding country. Amen. Last Christmas season, I clipped an ad from a children's toy catalog. The ad was for a moving monster gun. Here's what this toy gun will do. Use it to project your own monsters. Then, shoot them before they get away. And as I looked at that moving monster gun, my mind was boggled with all of the possibilities of this toy for adults. Project your own monsters. Don't you have monsters that haunt your life Monsters that frighten you, monsters that are lurking in the shadows, waiting to leap out and ruin the day for you, perhaps to ruin a beautiful year. I can think of a few monsters that frighten people. One is the fear of dying or of having a serious illness. Another is the fear of losing your job. Another is the fear of failing. If any of these monsters threaten your life, there is good news for you today. Jesus teaches us to put our trust in God. Don't be afraid, he says. Don't be anxious. I have come that you might have life and that you might have life abundantly. The monsters that make you afraid will ruin your life unless you face up to them and destroy them, shoot them down. And you can overcome every fear by daring to trust, daring to believe that God is the Lord of your life, that he is the master of your life, and it is his will that you live courageously. Fears are monsters that you can project and destroy before they get control of you. Another monster that can keep you from reaching your goals is the monster of being too busy. I have discovered that being too busy is one of the devil's favorite workers. And I'm sure that all of us could make a long list of the things that we mean to do with our children and with our wives, the projects that we plan to do during the winter, the projects that we plan to do last summer that we hope to do this summer, the books that we intend to read, the people we intend to see. But we never do because we are too busy. You may be a victim of the monster too busy. The book of Proverbs says, for everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. But how often have you kept from becoming the person that God means you to be and the person that you want to be because you are too busy. To be too busy is to be caught, it is to be destroyed by a monster that can ruin your life, a monster that keeps you from reaching out and growing. The only way to overcome it is to destroy that monster today. God wants you to become a new person with new interests. 
a new person who shares your life with your family, your friends, and your church. So don't be caught by the monster of being too busy. There is another monster that ruins many lives that needs to be destroyed. It's the monster that makes us believe, I can't do it. I would bet that each one of us has something that we would like to do, some dream, some goal. But maybe deep down inside of us, we really don't believe we can do it. Now is the time to destroy that monster. Now is the time to shoot that monster down that keeps you from achieving the great goal that you have for your life and that God has for you. Shoot the monster and begin working to reach the impossible dream. Nothing is impossible, Jesus says, and he proved that by raising the dead to life. You can do anything you want to if you decide to do it. Failure is most often caused by never deciding to do what you want to do. Harry Emerson Fosdick, a preacher of some years ago, told the story of a man who was rowing down the Niagara River past Buffalo. He couldn't make up his mind whether to stop at Buffalo or not. First he thought he would, then he thought, no, I won't. Still, he couldn't make up his mind. Ultimately, when he awoke at the foot of Niagara Falls, he discovered that he had decided not to stop at Buffalo, and the decision was made by the simple act of indecision. There are many monsters that will ruin your life if you do not decide to destroy them. But you can destroy them. Here's how. First, dare to believe that God is stronger than all of your fears. Second, dare to trust God for the courage to make you strong. Third, dare to hope in God's promise of abundant life for you and for everyone. Let God help you destroy the monsters, and your life will be filled with joy, and every day will be happier. Amen. Our Father, we are challenged, challenged by monsters that threaten to ruin, ruin our life. Yet by your strength, we know they can be destroyed, and we can become the persons you want us to be. Help us that we may put our faith in you, trusting in your promise of abundant life. This we pray in the name of Jesus, in whom and through whom we have life. Amen. Now may the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit go with you now and forevermore. Amen.
this has been the Chicagoland Church Services. Today's guest church was the Wooddale United Community Methodist Church of Wooddale, Illinois. This has been a WGN Television 9 Community Affairs production in association with the Church Federation of Greater Chicago.